sexy and I know it, know it, know it. Welcome everyone to a Kenshi update of 0.69. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you would like to use this one on Steam, you have to go right click on your game, properties, and opt into the beta. Um, and I think at the moment it's 0.67. Um, and he may be releasing this very soon, but uh, yeah, you have to opt into the beta. Some of the major things he's changed, I'll be going through that today. Uh, so stay tuned. So. What we have first of all is that there's now a lower chance, you can now change all of your difficulty settings, so global damage meter and all this cool stuff. I'm not sure what the default setting is, if you've already started playing, I assume it would probably be this. You can obviously do easy prospecting, which I assume was how it was before, so it'll be a lot different now. There are some new um, uh, settings to choose from, the nobodies I guess is one as well. Um, and you'll be able to do that a lot easier. So there's a lot of different things you can do with your different uh, play styles. So obviously if you want to do an RPG style, you can make it so it's harder to die. Um, he has revamped the way that uh, newer characters, so if you're a beginner, will die a lot easier. So you have to be a bit more protected. Um, and bandits can now catch us. So stay with me and we will get to that. I'm going to start just calling him as I see him and recording when I see the update so I can show you examples of it. But the first one here that obviously is pretty clear uh, is the frame rate boost. I'm not sure if you can tell at home, but there has been, that's kind of the major thing is that it is now easier to do things. Um, the difficulty settings added to new games and import games windows has changed so as I said before so you know and toughness now affects uh, degeneration rate so meaning that rookies are more likely to die I said that just before uh, so than veterans so I should be a little bit easier in the place at the moment um, but yeah and the uh, added amount of death uh, slider to a new game that's what uh, we had before higher than one makes all characters in the game more likely to die uh, e.g. 2 means more blood loss and 2 times faster. So, that's pretty cool. And if we try our prospecting, which we'll unpause this for a second and see if we can get to it. Uh, try that. Prospecting. Prospecting. Alright, so prospecting results. I don't know, I'm not sure if I have easy or hard on. That's the other thing. Uh, but I assume I probably have the easy version on still because uh, he would have made it um, so that everyone has the easier stuff that's already on there. So if you want to retry it or you import a game, you have to do that now. Um, so what I'm going to try to do, uh, strength improves slightly faster from encumberments. So um, when we see here that I'm encumbered like crazy, that should hopefully go up faster with my running back and forth. Uh, you can now upgrade and delete whole chains of walls, all this building stuff I'll come to. Um, splint kits are now to the research, there's so much stuff. Max blood stat is, stat is now influenced by character strength. Heavy clubs are a bit more, were a bit overpowered, so he's tuned that down. Um, do I have a heavy club? No, I, I have a heavy weapon, but I don't think that that's classed as the club, as far as I understand. Um, and he also forgot to mention in the last update, turrets and guns now have an advantage when placed at higher altitudes than the tar than their targets. Putting them on hills and walls will make them much more effective. That is a great, that's cool. So you'll be able to, um, in my other one, um, I'm actually set up here in my, uh, my uh, mod version. Um, so that'll be quite cool. Um, and what we're trying to do... Um, Oh, also, there's the combat system's been a little bit figured around. Uh, I think also the pl where is it? I'm trying to just read this. Uh, oh, he's made it a little bit easier to put play buildings down, so we'll also figure that one out. Uh, shouldn't take long. Uh, but maybe basically, what I'm trying to do here is try to get these guys to chase me, and we'll see how they go. All right, so all right, come on, chase me down, boys. Um, some bug fixes. He uh, fixed the reset, reset position. Um, go run! So he's not even running. So I'm definitely going to get caught, and they will probably smash me. So ready? And caught. Okay, cool. So I'm now I'm going to have to wash out for that. Uh, and if you haven't been watching my guy, my one man army. This is my one man army play. Um, He's a pretty beast up guy, he's like Gigantor, I should have named him to, renamed him to Gigantor, which I still can do, so if you have any, oh, alright, he's definitely not in the mood to die today, but he's going to, chop, you're not going down, and I am very strong, so um, if you haven't seen it, I recommend you watch it, um, 
the one man army. So as I kill these guys, you can see that I got caught, um, and it was a whole lot of fun. <laughs> so now it's going to be a lot harder. You can't just run away, so you're going to have to be sticking with um, armed guards. Oh, knocked them down. Um, <laughs> this is a little plug to the other one. Uh, multiplier for research and building and product speeds has been increased, it looks like. Um, and also the pathways, I think, have been increased too. Um, some other bugs is fixed some characters being invisible when dead or paused. Fixed out numbered characters to cause them to freeze up in mid-battle, which happened a lot here. And you can see it's kind of fixed up a little bit. You can't run away mid-stumble anymore, so um, if I get stumped, if I get knocked down, that's that's it. I'm, I'm pretty much stuck, which is kind of a problem. Oh, come on. The Hungry Bandits will... Oh, it's a mate. Okay, I see. Alright, so I'm just going to finish off all of these guys. Uh, <laughs> Skin tone was being a bit randomized properly, uh, proper for NPC, so uh, it wasn't being randomized properly. So they are going to be a lot more randomized now, which is um, it's good ethnically. <laughs> um, what other bugs? Uh, fixed research ETA, also time of day speed was running too fast when the speed was up. <coughs> Sorry. So that means that, you know how I was saying one day or one, <laughs> one hour until it was done, and then it would take like 10 hours of the actual in-game time, which is just here. Um, well, now it's not going to take as long. So, well, it might take just the same time, but your time won't go crazy fast, and then you'll think it should be done by now. All right, guys, so I've just slaughtered a group of hungry bandits, which hasn't actually happened ever before. So whether that's improved with the combat system or whatnot, I thought I was dead for sure, but it looks like I'm actually doing pretty well. So, I ended up dying out of that. I'm sorry, guys. We couldn't take on a whole squad, especially a weak squad. It looked like they'd already taken some dust bandits. But I did get through, uh, killed three down, so that's a pretty good effort. Um, and now I'm going to go over to my building one uh, so we can have a look at the walls and the uh, placement of buildings. The tip for the day, when in a one-man army, make sure when fighting you take off your backpack, as backpacks can affect your combat skills. Um, as you see here, I've got minus two in uh, my combat skills, and when I take it off, they're back up to normal. And this will help you fight at max potential, and you can still hold everything that's in the backpack if you put it into your inventory, or if you drop it, depending on if you're full, and I'm quite full, so I run heavy. Um, you will then be able to fight a lot better. So if you come up against a stronger army, um, do that. As one of my uh, comment, uh, one of my subscribers told me that I did kind of know that, but I didn't think it was that uh, effective. But it is. So you can get larger backpacks and you use them, and then just take them off when you're fighting. Thanks. You can see here with this new improvement of the combat system that uh, everyone's kind of fighting all together. I mean, there's still that. Uh, parry of guys that are behind but they're all kind of jumping in on their their, their attacks and um, that's clear there that that's what they're doing so um, great job Chris and um, keep up the good work okay so now we're on to the old dusty chaos clan uh, welcome to their uh, what they've got remember the two bases here with Yoshi Mitsu um, which is where we're quite uh, we haven't touched it for a while I will be trying to come back to that as quick as possible uh, but I've still got this one-man army and uh, mod uh, for Kenshi, and I want to get through a whole lot of things. So let's have a look at this uh, building. So before, it looks like it's a lot easier to just place down all this stuff. That's really cool. I, I think bef must be placed inside a building. What do you, what do you mean, must be placed inside? Okay, that's not meant to do that. All right, let's see how this goes. Alright, alright, cool. So we got our thing up. That's really easy um, and very streamlined. Uh, I may have to delete. So you should be able to also delete uh, buildings fairly easy. I'm not sh sure how you cancel. I'm going to cancel that because um, it looks like I may need to put in a gate first. So we'll put our gate because we want a gate that is about here at the entrance of our building. Nice. Now we want to put our wall down, which goes along here. Um, anyway, it's cool, it's got like, you know, you can kind of, you can make the wall. I wonder how buggy the wall is actually going to be, um, because it was buggy, obviously, for a lot of people. You couldn't close all the gates, um, which was in my modding one, that you couldn't just, you couldn't close them, so it was kind of a bit of a pain. But this looks really easy to put down, I'm just having a great time with it. Um, very streamlined, very uh, safe. Um, gonna be very safe. I won't be getting attacked by random guys, which I haven't seen for a while come and attack me, so I'm not sure 
how they're going. Alright, let's have a look here. <sighs> Lovely. We'll build our empire out this far. And look! How easy is that? We confirm that. And the whole wall is there. And we should be able to also delete them just as easy. Now this will probably take me a while to do because I'm, I've got no materials left. Um, which I'm doing at my other base. Um, and let it's just catching up on me. Uh, so this is basically it. Oh, also, uh, as you saw there, the building placements are a little bit easier. Um, but he did fix up the interior. Now he's fixed up the exterior. I assume that's what it is. I can place them a lot closer. Oh man, it just caught up to itself. Um, as I said, um, this is the beta version, like the uh, opt-in experimental version. So if you are going to try this, remember that it may do a serious crash on you. Keep your saves and don't uh, jump forward if you're not if you're not willing to lose what you have. Um, you know, back down to your saves. So you may waste all your time. Who knows? But you may not. Um, so I assume all these. I remember the problem was always the gold mines. I mean, oh, I can't. Sorry, not gold mines. What am I saying? Stone mines. Um, I assume that's equal for farming. So I'm going to just quickly try and put a hemp farm up. Let's see how close. Look how close I can put that. That's really good. Um, let's go have a look up at uh, these guys. All these guys, which are which are being totally slaughtered all the time. And these guys have their mines all up here. Uh, let's see if we can build another mine very close to it. Um, stone mine 5, which has got 70. 70? It was 100, wasn't it? Oh, you. You changed what this area is on me. No. Uh, what's Swift doing? Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching. That uh, that has been the update for 0.69. A lot of bugs fixed. A lot of new things. It's, I would consider it quite a large one. Um, and it's looking great. I'm liking where it's coming from. If you want to buy Kenshi, make sure you buy it. Make sure you support him because everything you put in uh, to the game, he puts every profit he makes, he's putting into the game because it's his, it's his love and that's what he needs. So he needs to do that. And uh, if you follow him on Twitter, uh, and I think it's maybe his wife or girlfriend or something, um, also does uh, pictures of the animals. I did show you once before there was going to be animals, and they're gigantic. If you haven't seen that picture, go to lofigames.com. Um, and in in the uh, updates, you can have a scroll through, and he shows you the different scales of the animals, and they have started rendering some of them. So they look pretty cool. They've gone past the concept stage, and now they're actually drawing them in 3D. So I know which ones will be in the game. Hopefully, they will be in the game. I guess. Um, and he's also done uh, different uh, savanna uh, landscapes because it's all just desert here. Um, so there's new biomes coming in. I think four are planned, if I'm correct. But who knows? So. Make sure you check the game out, make sure you enjoy it, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed this, and thank you very much for watching, it's downright. Hey guys, did you know I reached 50 subs? Make sure you check out that video on the left, and for Kenshi, check out the video on the right. As always, make sure to subscribe, mate!